Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can fix your HDMI port without needing to open your system up or needing any tools or anything like that. So this is just a simple step video. So sometimes people open their systems up and think there is something wrong with the HDMI itself, but sometimes there is nothing wrong and it could be something else too. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your HDMI port and you want to get a flashlight or anything like that and then you want to zoom in So once you zoom in you want to know that there is nothing damaged in it So if there is nothing damaged in it It means that your HDMI is still working or if there is something like little damage What you can do is you can get a little like a little screw screwdrive and you can just uh, squeak it back in also guys, I want to let you know that some people are mistaking on these two HDMIs. They sometimes go ahead and use this one. But if you are using a TV or a monitor, you want to always use this one. So just plug that in. Remember guys, this is the right one and don't use this one. So let's go to the next step. The next step, it could be that your HDMI is damaged. So once your HDMI is damaged, it could be happening that your display doesn't turn on well or it just doesn't turn on. And you can just go ahead and use a, another HDMI. So I will leave some affiliate links in the description down below so you can check these out. You can always use these if these are broken or if these don't work anymore. For example, I'm gonna show if these cables are like bulking in or if these like standing like this, it could be happening that inside of these cables something is broken or something is wrong. So guys, let's go to the next step. And now we are gonna clear the cache. So it could be that there is some corrupted data on your system and you think it's like the HDMI that just doesn't turn on, but it could be your console too. So what you need to do is you want to unplug everything on your console. So just unplug everything. And then what you want to do is you want to go to the big power cord. And you want to also unplug that, your big power cord itself. And you want to wait about two to three minutes. And once you wait two to three minutes, you want to go ahead and plug everything back on your system. So once you did that, what you want to do is you want to hold on the eject button if you have one. So you want to keep holding on this. And then you want to hold on this black button right here. So I only have the black button, so I only have to hold the black one. Hold that enough. And done. Just press it once. Keep holding. And once you hear it two times, it means that your uh, console is on safe mode. And now try to look at your... Um, HDMI or go to your TV itself and see for yourself if it's on By the way guys if you can like and subscribe you maybe get a little bit more luck by helping me out And now what you want to do is you want to click on continue So once you do continue and you still see a black screen you want to go back to your Troubleshoot what I just did and then you want to click on reset this Xbox. So let's do that and now it will tell you keep games and apps so it will just delete everything on your console and that's the bad part of this fix so this is the last fix and this is like the last thing that you want to try out and like you see it could happen that there is some safe data or corrupted data that may corrupt your system so it could be happening that your HDMI port isn't the problem itself it could be something else too but if you want to go ahead and open your Xbox one up it's all right but it's gonna take a lot of time so it's gonna take about like an hour or two to open it up and replace the HDMI but you can also just do this if there's no option at all so it will delete everything on your console it will be like a brand new console and that's just it so 
thanks for watching guys please like subscribe and comment down below and take care of yourself guys goodbye